this is one of the questions that I've I've gotten from from hearing from people. Yeah. Is that you know, you just do this because it's sensational, and you just you know it's just you you do it for attention, um, and I don't really even care about that part of it. So this, I'll, I'll explain that right now. So, but the the question is, do you do like? When I when I'm out supporting my I go out door knocking, yeah. I make phone calls mm-hmm. and I'm out actually doing stuff. Yes. Have you do you go out and do you door knock? Do you go make oh. phone calls for candidates? Listen, honey, I am an advocate and I practice what I preach. Okay. We all like attention. Let's uh-huh. not pretend. Right. Of course I like attention. But I don't do this for attention. I've lost everything in my life. Family, an entire community of people, and even my job in the airline industry, my eight-year career, right. because I was labeled a radical right-wing extremist. Right. I was on the presentation board in Utah with Senator Michael Kennedy, and we successfully have made it illegal to give innocent children puberty blockers, castrations, and mastectomies. Oh, is that what this is? That's what this article's about, yes. Okay. I testify at the legislature. I support Where, the in pro- Utah? Yes. I support okay. the pro-life movement. I'm dear friends with Mary Taylor and pro-life Utah. And recently I testified to save our flag in Utah because the woke mob is trying to change it. And we the have, Utah flag or yes, the American flag? No, the, it, the Utah flag. What's but our the Utah flag? flag? Is, it is a bald eagle okay. with the American flag. We're one of, I believe, three states to have the American flag in our flag. It oh. is patriotic, it has the word industry on it. And the woke mob is trying to industry? change it to Utah? an emoji. Yes. What kind of industry? Indus- industry meaning capitalism and productivity. Oh, okay. yeah. And the beehive. So anyway, they're trying to change it to this like satanic emoji designed by an LGBTQIA plus person and they're erasing one of America's most patriotic state flags. So yes, I practice what I preach. Gotcha. I work with Latinos for Trump. I work with, I do podcasts. If anyone bothers to listen to my podcast, this is not about attention. I am reluctantly a public figure. It's fun when you're mingling with people. Do you have a, do you have a full-time job? Um, I was a, I was in the airline oh, industry. Okay. Can't talk about it because hopefully good things are happening there. Yeah. But um, I do. I have another job, and um, I'm keeping that one totally. Do private. you dress like this? In- no, absolutely not. No. no, this is just for fun. It's when I feel like it, and it's right. when I want to make a political. Do you statement. normally have a beard when you're out and about? Always. I always oh. have scruff. I'm not a fashionista. I'm a very bad gay man because I don't care about fashion. I don't care about any of that stuff. So no, I live my life as a biological man. This guy was cornering me over there saying, "Have you gone? Are you on hormones? Have you gone the full whatever?" I'm like, I am in a, I am in an outfit. I am a costume artist. Do you understand that? The guy in the brick wall costume, identical. This is for fun. I am a biological man. And I just love ticking off the leftists by dressing up because they think oh, they have jurisdiction over too. anybody who's fun. What's that? You, 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 I see. see. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look how happy I look there. It's because you're the best. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's me. That's me two days ago. The, I had to shave cool up. Look how that picture is. <laughs> before and after. Oh, gosh, that is cool. I'll have to screenshot that. Yeah, before and after right there. Yeah had to shave off the beard it was actually really really sad because that was my sobriety beard oh, i grew really? up for 15 oh, yeah, yeah, days yeah, yeah. yeah. gotcha oh. and uh it was just it was you know i just i i am a man i love to dress up and when i'm all dressed up i act a little bit more over the top and effeminate gotcha. but i am an alpha man and when the commies come for us i will be in the trenches defending women and children gotcha like that's what it's all about but this is just a visual representation. Do you get to give speeches and presentations at events like CPAC? No, nope, I'm not part of the mainstream no. uh, conservative movement. People are too afraid to uh, give me a platform. I mean, I still get a really, I have 90,000 followers. I've been on Dinesh Souza, other things. Have you met but President the, Trump before? I have not, and no. that's one of my dreams. Well, him and Melania, uh-huh. I love, she is, oh boy. I have in Milan, I, I made a replica of her blue inauguration okay. dress. But no, I haven't met President Trump. President Trump, if you see this, I have been your staunch supporter, and I lost everything for coming out of the closet as a, an, a costume artist who loves what you've done for America. And I do hope to meet him someday. It's very, gotcha. but like CPAC, I've met him a few times. Have you really? Yeah. Oh, I'm so envious. That's incredible. Yeah. He's a he's a good man. I know. He's not perfect, you know? but he sure is a well, good. Well, growing he up loves in New York, I, I, mean, I was on. I got interviewed for like a minute and a half on the War Room yesterday. Oh, nice. And uh, you know they were like, hey, "Why do you support Trump? You're supporting Trump." And yeah. I tell you know, 
one of the dynamics is, you know, in 2016, you know, are, are, have you supported Trump since the beginning? Yes, you I know, have. Have you? you know, oh, well, yeah. I'm going to tell you the story, you know, because then there were people, you know, when he got the nomination, then there were the people that transferred over and, you know, like kind of jumped on the bandwagon or so to speak, you know, because yeah. he was now the nominee. Yeah. But I was, t I told the story that I'm, I'm, I grew up on Long Island, so I'm a big hockey fan. And yeah. when I was a kid, Donald Trump embarrassed the mayor of New York, Ed Koch, who's a Democrat, okay? And Donald Trump went in and re they were renovating uh, the ice rink in Central Park. And it was just a mess. And Donald Trump went in, took it over, came in under budget, under time, and just completely embarrassed Ed Koch. And I was young when that happened. And, and it was like, I've been a big fan of his. Yeah. And the thing is, is like, what I find too, is this, I grew up, probably 20 minutes from where where Donald Trump grew up yeah right and if, if you you know if you learn about Donald Trump you know his dad owned like would go in and they owned like uh, apartment complexes in Jamaica in, in New York yeah and Donald would go in and help repair them when he was young he, he's and, always cared about the people right? no no I'm not talking about like like a, a, a philanthropic kind of thing. Yeah. It was the business, and I remember right. reading about how he would go in and repair the help repair the foundations of his of his dad's buildings and stuff right. like that. Yeah. And he worked for his dad, who was construction or whatever. Yep. And and this is one of the other dynamics. Is like, well, his dad loaned him a million dollars. I'm like, well, you know what? If I like, my dad owned gas stations when I was a kid. If I had opened up gas stations, you know what? I probably would have taken a loan or got some money for my dad yeah. to go start. And that's and, why people get rich, so that they can help their children. Correct. There's nothing wrong with you know, that. Can I tell you when, I re when he really won me over? When? This is going to sound weird, but well. my degree is in documentary, well, uh, broadcast journalism, okay. and radio. So I, I've done documentaries. I lived right. in Ecuador and I lived in Africa. And I was exposing uh, what was happening to women, children, disabled people overseas. And no one ever believed me when I would tell what really goes on in those countries, especially Africa. It's barbaric. Women have no rights. Right. Rape is the norm. Disabled people are considered witchcraft. And it was so painful to come to the United States and have people say, you're just trying to impose the white man's ways. When people, like, they still have leper camps and, and they're right. abused. So when, this sounds terrible, but when Donald Trump said, Haiti is a hole. Right. I knew he was the real deal right. because Haiti is right. exactly what he said. Women yeah. have no rights. There's constant crime. It's government corruption. They have destroyed their environment. The ocean well, is filled with garbage. I've been over Children have no no rights, no respect. Gays, women, the disabled. It is exactly what he said. I've been to 65 countries in my have lifetime. Have you really? Yeah. Oh my God. And I've gotten to watch. You know, I've been in combat. I've been to all these different places and. You know, it's you get to see that that yeah. you know how these people live and how how, how bad blessed off they we are, are and how blessed we and are and how how ungrateful yeah. Americans are. Correct. And quite frankly, you know, Black Americans um, on the left, they seem to worship Africa as if it's some magical right. place. And it's like no one has it better than Black people in the United States. And I've seen it firsthand doing documentary work, and right. it's heartbreaking what happens across the world. You know, and so when he said that, he shouldn't have said it. It was a rude thing to say.